it's me, Flippy! And today, we're here in the Centre du Secours in La Relais, France! <laughs> yeah, and it was raining outside, so I wanted to do something really fun indoors. That's why I'm here at this emergency service center! Yeah! This is where firefighters work. Yeah, in France, firefighters are called les pompiers. <laughs> yeah, they fight fires, but they also do all kinds of things. <laughs> and I wanted to know, what does it take to become a real firefighter here in France? <laughs> hmm, but first, let's go explore some emergency service vehicles. Come on. Whoa, check it out. Do you know what this is? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's a fire truck. <laughs> yeah, and in French, you say fire truck like this. Un camion de pompier. Whoa, that's pretty fun to say. And this fire truck is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's so big and it has all kinds of things to help put out a fire. Like this. Whoa, this is the hose. Whoa, it's pretty cool. And the way you say hose in French is just like this. Un tuyau. <laughs> whoa, and look, it's so big so that the water, whoa, can go through the hose, whoa, <laughs> to put out the fire. <laughs> and this one is really, really long, see? <laughs> but I think this side goes on fire hydrant. <laughs> oh, and do you see what I see? One of the most important things, yeah. This is really important, a ladder, <laughs> yeah. A ladder in French is une échelle. <laughs> yeah, ladders are so important so that the firefighters can climb up to really tall buildings and use the hose to put out the fire. <laughs> oh, and check it out. There's a really big door. Hmm, wonder what's behind it. Whoa, check it out. It's a water pump, the pump puts a lot of pressure on the water so that it can go through the hose and onto the fire. <laughs> Whoa, this is a pretty amazing fire truck. It has hoses, ladders, and a really awesome water pump. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, this fire truck is awesome! <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun to explore it. But remember, always ask permission before you touch something that doesn't belong to you. Good thing I have permission to touch the fire truck. Woohoo! <laughs> and check out all the things on it. Like, whoa, this safety cone. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my two favorite colors, orange. And it also is really shiny, so you see it. Yeah, if you see a safety cone, it means they're doing something really important. You don't want to get too close, because it might not be safe. Oh, <laughs> but it sure is pretty to look at. <laughs> yeah, and do you see what else? There's all kinds of tools, different types of equipment that a firefighter might need to help people. <laughs> oh, and look at what it is. Whoa, this fire truck has really big wheels and tires. Yeah, really big treads to grip the ground so it can get really fast to wherever it needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and look, it has so many different bolts all around it, so it's nice and secure. <laughs> hey, and do you see what this is? Look, whoa, <laughs> this right here is another fire hose, but this one's a little bit different. Mm, yeah, it's really brightly colored, and <laughs> whoa, whoa, you can pick it up. Yeah, you can pick up this hose because yeah, this hose is meant for indoors. It means you can carry it inside a building, put out the fire that's inside. Yeah, oh, and see, it's a little bit smaller too. <laughs> Wait a minute, I have an idea. Let's dance and do the firefighter hose dance. Woohoo! come on. <laughs> Woo. Firefighters are awesome. Yeah, they put out all kinds of fires, even forest fires and wildfires. <laughs> yeah, that's when they use this fire truck here. 
Whoa, it's huge. Check it out. <laughs> Do you see these wheels and tires? Yeah, this is called the CCFM fire truck. Woohoo! And these big tires help to grip the mud or the grass or drive over trees that you might find on a forest floor. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and you see this over here? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's a really big bumper. Woohoo! So if it bumps into a tree or a really big plant, Keeps on going. Doesn't stop these firefighters. <laughs> yeah, they need to stop the fire. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, and did you notice something? The back of the fire truck is huge. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, it's really, really big. That's because it's filled up with water. <laughs> if you're putting out a wildfire out in the forest or on a grassy area, it's not near the city, so there aren't fire hydrants. Yeah, you need to bring all the water you'll need Put out the fire. <laughs> That's pretty silly. <laughs> hey, you know that firefighters do other things too? They can even help when there's a flood. Whoa, check this out. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, check it out. This isn't a fire truck, but it helps with floods. Yeah. It's a really big engine and a really big pump. Yeah, this pump here pumps all the water out of a flooded area and takes it to the drain in the city. <laughs> Firefighters are so cool. <laughs> yeah, oh, it would be so cool to be a pompier. Woohoo! Whoa, I'm having so much fun today learning all about les pompiers and emergency vehicles. But I would really like to meet a firefighter. That would be so fun. <laughs> Wait a minute. You see there's a person. Oh, I bet they're a pompier. Let's go say hi. Come on. Oh, hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, Blippi. I'm Kum. Oh, it's so nice to meet you, Kum. Oh, are you a pompier? Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I noticed your shirt and your jacket. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> but what's the first thing you need to do to become a firefighter? You have to take some tests. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds a little bit tricky, but because pompiers are so strong and smart, <laughs> I bet it wasn't too hard. <laughs> oh, well, after you become a pompier, what do you do next? You have to dress like a pompier. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Do you think I could dress up just like a pompier? Yes, of course. Whoa, that would be fun. <laughs> and I think I'm ready. <laughs> On y va? That means let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, come, what's this? This is what we wear. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Actual pompier pants and a jacket. Whoa, so colorful. <laughs> oh, how do you say these things in French? Une veste. Woo! And? A pantalon. Whoa! <laughs> okay, do you think I can try them on? Yes, of course. Okay, let's do it. Well, which one do I do first? The pants. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> okay. Whew. Whoa, look, they even have suspenders. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Okay, one leg. Here we go. And Ooh. two legs. Woo! <laughs> Whoa. And now, the suspenders, <laughs> double suspenders, woo! <laughs> okay, now time to put on the jacket. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty heavy and probably really helpful to protect you, right? Yes. <laughs> well, what do I have to put on next? Up here. Whoa, check it out. Look at this helmet. Whoa, <laughs> what's this called? On casque. Whoa, on cask. <laughs> well, I like the sound of that. <laughs> well, can I try it on? Of course. Whoa. Well, this is gonna be fun to try on, but whew, it looks like there's also a hood. Yeah, because firefighters go into really warm places, they need to wear this hood to protect them. But I'm not a real firefighter, so I'm just gonna try this on. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Feel like a real pompier now. <laughs> well, I think I'm all done, right? No. Oh, am I forgetting something? Your gloves. Oh, my gloves. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Check it out. Two gloves. Yeah. One, two. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and what are these called in French? Diggle. Whoa. <laughs> okay, time to put them on. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. I'm all dressed just like a pompier. <laughs> yeah, I have on my pants, pantalon, my jacket, vest, my helmet, my casque, and my gloves. Bingo. Whoa, that was so much fun getting dressed up just like a firefighter and learning some French. <laughs> but after you take a test and then dress up, what do you have to do next? You can train yourself. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> you think I could try some training? Yes, of course. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Follow me. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here on the basket of the fire truck. <laughs> what we do in training is ride the basket. Oh yeah, you definitely want to ride the basket. It's what firefighters use to reach really high buildings. <laughs> yeah, but they have a hose. Since we're practicing, I don't have a hose yet. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm ready to go up. <laughs> Are you ready, BP? I'm ready. <laughs> up. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, we did it! I had so much fun today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Comb, for teaching me all about being a firefighter. Thank you, BP. Mm. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. It was a pleasure. <laughs> see you soon. See you soon. Whoa, today was awesome. <laughs> yeah, we learned all about emergency vehicles and what it takes to become a pompier. Woohoo! <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, ready? <laughs> Here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Here we go. It's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at today. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the big island of Hawaii. And this place is awesome because of volcanoes. Today, you and I are gonna learn about volcanoes. Yeah, maybe we'll find out what it looks like after it erupts, or maybe some lava tubes, Ooh, and maybe some steam. All right, are you ready to learn and have some fun? Me too, let's go. Wow, this place is so cool. And I even have a map, but it's kind of confusing on where I'm at. I'm trying to find all those cool things like the lava tubes and the volcano. <laughs> Aloha, Blippi. Oh. Are you lost? Do you need help finding anything? Hey, whoa, are you a park ranger? I am a park ranger here. My name's Ranger Aaron. Wow, and yeah, to answer your question, I am lost. I was actually trying to find the lava tubes. Ooh, well, you're in luck. We have Nahuku Lava Tube right down this trail. Do you want to go see it? Yeah, will you show me? Yeah, let's go together. All right. Whoa, great. <laughs> Ranger Aaron, this place is beautiful. I know. I love this hike over here. I would call this a rainforest. We do have areas of rainforest here at Kilauea Volcano. Really? How did the eruption not get rid of all these plants? Well, the thing is, during many volcanic eruptions here, the lava doesn't cover the whole forest. It sometimes it'll flow around areas and leave a little pocket of forest. We call these kipukas. Kipuka. That's right. These are really important, actually, because kipukas serve as seed banks. Seed banks? What are those? It means they're areas where all of the seeds from our native plants can be saved. And then after an eruption, the wind might blow them, birds might pick them up and drop them on the new lava, and new plants can start to grow. These plants make it possible for the rest of the forest to come back to that area. And eventually you may not even know there was ever a lava flow there. Wow, that is really cool. But since there's a lot of poisonous gases in the air when volcanoes erupt, how do these plants survive? Well, a lot of our plants here on this island, they had to adapt to survive a volcano, such as our Ohia Lehua tree. Look at these giant trees above us. Wow, they these are big. <laughs> 
These trees are very important in Hawaiian culture, and they also have some superpowers to help them survive a volcanic eruption. Superpowers? I love superpowers. What do you mean? Well, the ohia lehua tree can actually hold its breath during a volcanic eruption for up to two weeks. Oh, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. wow, this is really cool. Can we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go see the lava tube. Oh, cool. Let's go. <laughs> wow, what's this? This is the Nahuku lava tube. Lava tube? What does that mean? Well, that means this is a tunnel where lava used to be flowing during an eruption. But sometimes at the end of the eruption, the lava will flow out and leave this empty tunnel behind. And this one we can actually walk through. Oh, cool. That sounds really exciting. Can we walk through it right now? Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> you lead the way. All right. <laughs> oh, pretty dark wow. in here. Yeah, don't worry. There are some lights. All right. <laughs> Whoa, cool. So we have to imagine this is where the lava used to be flowing through many, many years ago. Oh, wow. This is really cool. Oh, and it's getting pretty dark in here. I know. Good thing we've got a few lights to help us see the way. Oh, yeah. Smart. Whoa, cool. Do you mind if I touch the wall? Oh, please don't. This is actually a very unique ecosystem in our park. There are some insects that live here that don't live anywhere else. And if we touch the walls, we could disturb this ecosystem. Okay, if you're ever in a lava tube, don't touch the walls. Whoa! And it's really cool how there's special insects that just live in here. But hey, what's that sound? Yeah, the dripping? Is it raining in here? Actually, volcanic rock is very porous. That means there's lots of little holes and cracks in it. So when it rains, the water can filter down through the rock and eventually it can drip right on top of us. Oh, cool. Well, I guess we'll continue, but we'll try and not get wet. <laughs> right, we should have brought an umbrella. Yeah. Wow, that was really cool. I know, this is one of my favorite places in our national park. Yeah, and you're so smart knowing about those insects and also how the water drops through the rock. Well, they're important facts to know to understand how special our volcano is. Yeah, it is very special. Hey, and speaking of volcano, do you mind if we go check it out? Yeah, do you want to go see Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater? Oh, I would love to. That sounds like fun. All right, let's go see our volcano. All right. <laughs> wow, cool, a volcano. That's right. This is a very special place at the National Park. So whenever I bring students up here, I remind them to keep quiet voices oh. so that we can be respectful so that everybody can enjoy this part of the National Park. Wow, and why is it so sacred up here? Well, this is known as a vahipana. In Hawaiian, that means a sacred place. In Hawaiian culture, many people believe that this crater, Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater, is the home of Pele Honuamea. Pele is the fire goddess and the goddess of volcanoes, and many people believe that the Hawaiian islands would not be here without Pele. So that's why this is such a sacred and special area in the park. Wow, this is a special place and it's so peaceful. But wait a second, what is a volcano? Well, a volcano is a geologic feature where underneath the Earth's crust, magma chambers can form. Magma is molten rock. So these pockets of molten rock start building up pressure and eventually they can build up enough pressure that they actually break through the Earth's crust and lava can erupt out of the Earth's crust. Wow, cool. So does this volcano erupt a bunch of lava? It does. Actually, this volcano is erupting right now. Wait, right now? Why is it not just exploding in air? Well, the Hawaiian volcanoes don't usually have explosive eruptions. The Hawaiian volcanoes have what we call effusive eruptions. So the lava can bubble out and flow, and they also sometimes erupt out of rift zones in the side of the volcano. Oh, that makes sense. So is that the lava down there? Well, that is the lava down there. Once lava cools and turns into rock, it turns black. So we are looking at the cooled lava lake right now. Wow, and when did this eruption start? This current eruption started in September of 2021. 
Oh, and what did it look like before that time? Well, there was actually a really big change in our volcano before the last big eruption. Before that really big eruption, our volcano, the caldera, was more flat. And Hale Mauma'u Crater was very small. It would have just been right over there. But what happened during that eruption? We had that magma chamber underneath the earth and it started to empty because it was erupting out of the side of the volcano. Okay. So eventually all of the lava, all of the magma got out of that chamber and it was just empty. And when it was hollow and empty like that, it couldn't hold the weight of the volcano. So it actually collapsed. Wow. And that's what we can see here. This crater got much, much bigger during that eruption. Wow, that's really cool. So is this the only volcano that you folks have here? Flippy, guess how many volcanoes you can see right now? Um, one? The answer is actually three. We have five volcanoes on our island total, and we can see three of them right here. Do you want to go see the others? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Whoa, so that's the other volcano we can see? Right, that is one of the other volcanoes we can see from right here. That's called Mauna Kea. And one interesting fact is Mauna Kea is so tall, in the wintertime, it can actually get snow. Wait, snow in Hawaii? That's right, I used to teach second grade, and my second graders could go to the top of Mauna Kea, sled down a hill with snow on it, and then go to the beach in the same day. <laughs> wow, that sounds like so much fun. I would love to live here. I love sledding and the beach. <laughs> oh, wait, so you said there's another volcano? All I see is hills. Well, actually, we are going to see Mauna Loa Volcano. And this is a really great example of why they're called shield volcanoes. You see this big hill behind us? Yeah. That is all Mauna Loa. That is all the volcano. Wow. Even though it doesn't look like this, it looks like this, a shield volcano. It's still a volcano. That's right, like a superhero shield laid on its side. <laughs> cool. Wow, do you have any other fun things to see today? Do you want to see some steam vents with steam coming out of the earth? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, let's go see those last. All right. <laughs> wow, this place is awesome. Yeah. Park Ranger Aaron, what is this? This is a steam vent. Oh, a steam vent? What's that? Well, do you remember when we walked through the lava tube, we felt all of those drops of water falling on us? Yeah. Well, something similar happens here. Remember, our, our volcanic rock is so porous. That means there's lots of holes and cracks in it. Right. So when it rains, the rainwater can seep down through the rocks. Okay. Do you remember what's underneath a volcano? Uh, the magma chamber? That's right, all <laughs> of that magma, that super hot molten rock is underneath our volcano. So eventually the water seeps down so far, it gets heated up by the magma, it evaporates and it turns into steam. Wow. The steam can escape from these cracks in the earth just like this. Wow, this has been so much fun learning about volcanoes with you today. You're so knowledgeable. Well, thank you for coming and learning about volcanoes. It's so important that we work together to protect these special places. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> well, I've got to go meet some youth junior rangers over at the visitor center. Wow, cool. All right, bye Blippi. All right, see you later. Enjoy your visit. All right, have a good day. Wow, Mauna Loa looks so big. And remember how we learned that it looks like a superhero shield laying down flat? Yeah, not all volcanoes look like this. Wow, we learned so much today. We even got to walk through a lava tube and it was so tubular. <laughs> yeah, and those steam vents, so cool. And it was pretty warm too, that steam from all that heat. Wow, and that crater, it was so big and vast. Wow, I sure did love learning about volcanoes with you. But this is the end of this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. It's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at Up Flying Yoga in Los Angeles, California! <laughs> Whoa! And check it out! We're so high up in the sky! <laughs> Look! You can see the mountains, 
and trees, even buildings. <laughs> well, I am so excited because you and I get to have fun doing aerial arts. <laughs> yeah, aerial means up in the air. <laughs> and we're gonna have lots of fun up in the air together. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> I'm swinging in this hammock. <laughs> Yeah, normally you might want to take a nap in a hammock, but this one is great for swinging in, climbing on, and spinning. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, that's because this is an aerial hammock. Yeah, <laughs> you can do all kinds of things on it. Whoa, <laughs> it sure is fun. <laughs> oh, but if you're doing anything with aerial silks, or aerial hammocks, you wanna make sure there's a ground up nearby so you stay nice and safe. <laughs> okay, let's swing! <laughs> Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, you can swing sitting down or you can swing standing up. Woo! <laughs> Here we go! Woo! <laughs> Look at me go! Oh, I'm up so high! Hello! <laughs> Woo! I'm a bird! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, that's pretty silly. <laughs> but I think I wanna spin some more. Here we go! Whoa! Check it out! It's an aerial cube! <laughs> Ooh, I bet we can climb up in this. Here we go! Whoa, look, <laughs> oh, so relaxing in the cube. <laughs> yeah, hey, do you know what a cube is? A cube is kind of like a square. Yeah, kind of like a square, but it's 3D. Whoa, and every side is the same size. Yeah, all six sides. Whoa, are the same! <laughs> Check it out! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is kind of tricky. Woo. Whoa! Yeah, look! If you see it from this angle, it looks like a diamond. But I bet... Now, it kind of looks like a square. Woo! Yeah, a square! <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> woo, okay, <laughs> I should probably get down from here. Okay, here we go, woo, <laughs> well, that was pretty fun, but I think I need a teacher to help me out a little bit. <laughs> it would probably make it a lot more fun and I could probably do some cool new things. <laughs> hmm, let's go find someone to give us some tips. an aerial instructor. <laughs> Whoa, she's really good at this. <laughs> oh, maybe she can teach us. <laughs> Let's go ask. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Whoa. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kimberly. Oh, it's nice to meet you, nice Kimberly. To meet you. <laughs> Whoa, you're really good at aerials. Thank you. Whoa. Ooh, well, we were doing some climbing and some spinning <laughs> and some swinging, but do you think you could help us? Uh, can you dance? Oh, I love to dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love to dance. Perfect. Let's do some aerial dance then. Aerial dance? Oh, you mean we can dance, but in the air? That's exactly it. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. All okay. right, grab for your hammock. Okay, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at this hammock. It's so big and purple. <laughs> it's like a sail. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> okay. I have the hammock. Grab for one edge. Bring your thumbs inside. Okay. Fingers, all four of them on each hand. On the outside, slide your hands outside of your hips. Okay. Reach for six handfuls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Bring those elbows in, shoulders in. Ooh, okay. Press your fingertips towards the ground. Jump up inside. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Ooh, we made it in the hammock. Hands up high towards the sky, all the way around the outside of the back. Grab it like a rope on each side. You can walk your legs forward so you're sitting on the very edge of this little ledge. Ooh, nice. 
and then slide your hands down so you've got it on both sides, just like you'd wear a belt. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> Good job. All right, we're gonna go upside down. Are you ready? We get to go upside down? Yeah, I'm ready. You're gonna take your legs wide, keep your hands still, and then bring your feet together all the way around the front. Okay, here we go. Upside down, blippy, woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! And then take your right foot and your left foot all the way around the outside of the purple fabric Ooh. to the front. Okay. Good job. Whoa! You look fun. good. Yeah. <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up. Wait, thumbs down. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> okay. You want to go for a spin? Yeah. Let's do it. Time to spin. <laughs> Don't want to get too dizzy. <laughs> oh, so what should we do next? You want to do a handstand? Yeah. All right. Your fingers come on the floor directly under your shoulders. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at those toes. Flex your feet. Straighten out your legs. Now straighten out your hands. Whoa! Feet towards the sky even more! Handstand! Yeah! Check it out! Whoa, that was fun! You wanna do a no-hand handstand? A no-hand handstand? Sure! All right, straighten out the legs, straighten out the arms! Okay! Hands off! Whoa! Check it out! No hands! How stretchy are you? Can you reach to your toes? Reach for those toes! Yeah! Bend your knees! Whew. And lift up! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, we're up so high. But I do have one question. Kimberly, how do we get down? Oh, well that's even more fun. You're gonna reach for both hands on one fabric. Okay. All right, keep that left knee bent, reach the right toes towards the floor, come forward. Yes. And slide those hands down, bend your right knee, grab a hold of your right hand with your right foot. Ta-da! Ta-da! Hitch and drop. Whoa! This is awesome! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! Look at these! <laughs> Whoa, they kind of look like a hammock, but there's not a place to sit. What are these called? This is called an aerial silk. It's like a hammock upside down. Whoa, an upside down hammock? <laughs> That's fun. Well, how do we play with these? You want to try to climb it? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. You're going to grab a hold of it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and I want you to kind of hug the fabric with your legs. So your right leg comes up. Okay. Turn around, give it a giant hug and flex the foot. Okay. You're gonna slide the fabric underneath the toes. Oh, okay. And then you're gonna reach your other foot onto the fabric and kind of hook it like you're crisscrossing. Great. So I Criss pull on the one fabric. Toe to the other. Yep. Like that. Awesome. It gets easier if you use both hammocks or uh, both silks. Do you want to try it together? Yeah. Okay. We'll try both silks. See if I can climb to the top. Okay. Okay. So bring them together. Give it like a giant little bear hug. Your uh, leg. <laughs> okay. Now we take our leg around. That's right like this, Yep. flex our foot. Bring it as high as you can. Even higher, Woo. even higher. Woo. Good job. And then up we go. <laughs> Woo. You can go higher. Okay. Whoa, look how high I am. All the way to the top, Lippy, good job. Whoa, I made it to the top. Whoa, look at how high we are. Everything looks amazing from up here. Okay, I think it's time to come down. Nice and slowly, you're gonna squeeze your legs together and walk your hands down. Work with your legs, not with your hands. Whoa, here I go! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> we made it! Good job! Yeah. Nice landing. Whoa, that was amazing! Oh, you've taught us so many amazing dance moves and how to climb a silk. <laughs> Thank you so much for teaching us today, Kimberly. You're welcome. Uh, well, I'll see you soon, I think. I have all these tools. Now I can do my very own aerial blippy dance. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's time for some blippy dancing. <laughs> yeah. Kimberly was so helpful and taught us all kinds of dance moves. And now we can take those dance moves and make blippy choreography. Oh, that's kind of a big word. Choreography. <laughs> have you heard that word before? Well. It's just a big fancy word for lots of dance moves put together. <laughs> we can do that. Time to dance!
Hey, I had such a great day with you today, learning all about aerial arts. <laughs> and we even got to dance to our very own aerial blippy dance. Woohoo! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> great. OK, here we go. B-L-I. P-P-I! Blippi! Good job! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon! Bye-bye! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi! Hi, and I'm Mika! And look at where we're at! We're at Artists at Play! Yep, in Seattle, Washington! And this place is so cool! You can play like an artist! That's right! You can climb, you can dance, you can even make music! <laughs> That sounds like so much fun! Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Cool! This looks like the yellow song fence! Whoa, a song fence? That sounds cool! I wonder how you do it! Whoa! Look at these balls! Interesting! <laughs> Whoa! That sounds great! Yeah! They sounded a little different! Yeah, let's hear it again! Oh. This one was higher than that one. Yeah, mine was a little lower. Wait a second. Let's widen out and see what that sounds like. Good idea. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. My side is higher pitch. Yeah, and my side is lower. Let's go even wider. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ooh, that was really low. <laughs> Whoa! This side is high and that side is low. Yeah. Wait a second. Since you're good at singing, let's check your pitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Good job, Mika. <laughs> you're a great singer. Thanks. Let's check your pitch. <laughs> okay. Let's go up here. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Wait. I have an idea. Why don't we start down there and go from really high? Wait, that side was low, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the low side. <laughs> okay, go from really low down to up to really high. Yeah, we can hear all the notes. Come on. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh. made a 
high-pitched noise. Yeah, and this one, the bigger one, made a lower noise. <laughs> oh, hey, I have an idea for a very, 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 very fun game. Oh, what is it? <laughs> okay, I will drop rocks on these two items. Uh huh. And then if it's the high-pitched, you jump high. Okay. And if it's the low pitch, you squat down real low. Awesome. Oh, will you play with me? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. I'm going to just use my ears and listen. Hey. Mm -hmm. Every single one right. Nice. You did a good job, too. <laughs> good job. Well, shall we? Yeah, let's keep looking. Oh, Mika, check oh, it out. Oh, that looks like so much fun. <laughs> wow. This is a jungle gym, and it looks like it's made out of rope. Yeah, and you can climb up the rope, which is so cool. Yeah. Wait a second. Why don't we climb up higher than where we're at right now? Yeah, and things will look differently up high. That sounds like fun. Let's, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun to see what we can see up here. Yeah, we could climb really high. Whoa, you're doing a great job. You too, Bliffy. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Whoa. This is cool. We can see so much from up here. Yeah, we're really high up. We can see the whole playground. Oh, yeah. There's the swings. Whoa. And where Whoa. we made some music. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, guess what I have? What? I brought my telescope. Whoa, cool. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> you scared gotcha. me. Gotcha. <laughs> and check it out. The space needle. Whoa, it's so high up. Yeah. Hey. What? I wonder if we can get even higher, as high as the space needle. Oh, yeah. If we go to the top of the space needle, I bet we're going to see things differently from yeah. way up high. I can probably see even more. Cool, let's go. Okay. Whoa, let me check it out. The elevator that will take you up 52 floors. Whoa, that's really high. I'm excited. I know, me too. <laughs> Wait a second, I have an idea. Well, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, a, a race. race. <laughs> I'll take the stairs. And I'll take the elevator. All right, and we'll see who wins. Yes, let's do it. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! I can't believe I get to go to the very top of the Space Needle. I wonder if I'm going to beat Blippi. This elevator's really fast. Did you know that the Space Needle is over 600 feet tall? That's more than 180 meters. Very, very tall. Whoa, we're so high up now. Oh, I think we're almost to the top. 830, 831, 832. Yeah, I made it to the top of the Space Needle. Oh, I am very tired though. Oh, that's a lot of steps. But oh, wait a second, where's Mika? Hey, Blippi. Oh, hey Mika. <laughs> you made it to the top of the Space Needle. Yeah, I can't believe you got here first. Well, I am pretty fast. You are really fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! What a beautiful view! Yeah, come look! And it looks like there's a deck right here. Oh, this must be the observation deck! You are so smart, Mika! <laughs> Shall we go check it out? Yeah, let's do it! Whoa! Whoa this place is awesome! Yeah, check out this incredible view! Whoa, and do you see all that water? Oh, that's called the Elliott Bay. Oh, it is? Yep. Wow, I bet there's a lot of fish in there. Oh, I bet you're right. Oh, I see a lot of boats. Oh, and buildings and yeah. green trees. Oh, yeah, so pretty. Yeah. Did you know these trees are called evergreen trees? They stay green year round. So cool. Yeah. Some people call Seattle the Emerald City because of all of the green trees. Because emerald is green. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mika. Why is this place called the Space Needle? It's hmm. not like we're up in space. <laughs> That's true. Well, in the World's Fair a really long time ago, it was space themed. So they built this tower that looks like something maybe you'd find in space, right? Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, we're so high up. I feel like we are getting close to space. Whoa. <laughs> 
Well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this has been wow. so much fun. Yeah. Whoa, cool. Another oh, amazing. Whoa, what? Mika, watch out. Oh, you Blippi. almost fell through. It's okay. It's a glass floor. <laughs> Whoa, are you sure it's safe and yep. strong? It's actually 10 layers of glass, which means it's as strong as walking on concrete. See? Whoa, be <laughs> careful. Totally Do you safe. think it's safe enough for me to come on too? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it feels kind of funny. You got this. Whoa. Whoa. All, right. Whoa. All right. There you go. All right. See? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I guess it is safe. Whoa. <laughs> this is really cool. I know, right? Oh, and look down there. Yeah, you can see all the way to the ground. Yeah, everything looks so small. Uh huh. Shall we lay down? Oh, good idea. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Wow, they look like ants, but they're actually people. Yes. Yeah, so teeny tiny. Whoa. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Wait a second. Mika, do you see what I see? We're moving. Whoa. Yeah. A rotating glass floor? Yeah, and it's the only rotating glass floor in the world. Whoa, cool. This is awesome. I know, it's really fun. Whoa. Uh. Yeah, and if it rotates and goes all the way around, we can stand right here and see the whole city 360 degrees. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. Speaking wow. of cool, look at the view. Yeah. Look at all of those houses. Wow. That building is so big. Oh, really big, <laughs> but not as tall as this tower. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, oh. and that's a big lake over there. Oh, yeah. What do you see? Oh, I see some traffic over there. Whoa. Oh, there's a football field. Whoa, cool. That looks like fun. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of fun, the playground we were on oh, earlier. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, do you want to get a closer look? Uh, yeah. How do we do that? I brought binoculars. Whoa, cool, Mika. <laughs> yeah, you want to share? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> wow, let's look out there. Whoa. Whoa, look at that person. Oh. Cute oh. bag. Hello, sir. <laughs> oh, I wonder where he's going. Oh, in a big hurry, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look up here. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, a rainbow. It's so colorful. Yeah. Oh, I love rainbows. <laughs> yeah, do you know how rainbows are made? Oh, tell us. Well, light shines through a bunch of water molecules, and then it creates a rainbow. Yeah, and they're so pretty. <laughs> wow, this has been so much fun up here. Oh, what a cool way to see the city. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Do you know what day it is? Rainbow day. It's rainbow day, yeah. Flippy, how you doing? Red and orange.
love Rainbow Day. It's so colorful. Mika? Wow, wasn't that so much fun playing at the artist to play? Yeah, we made such cool music with those sound machines. <laughs> oh, and it was really fun racing to the top of the Space Needle in Seattle. Yeah, Flippy, you were really fast. Well, it was really tiring. That's a lot of stairs. Yeah, I was <laughs> impressed. Yeah, speaking of impressed. Yeah, the view was incredible. Yeah, and this glass floor Whoa. was so awesome. Yeah, I love the Space Needle. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? Yeah. <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H! Mika! <laughs> Alright, see you again! Bye-bye! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at Yas Waterworld in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> yeah, this water park is amazing! There are water rides and big slides to go down. <laughs> but today, you and I have a special mission. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a pearl. <laughs> well, not just any pearl, a really, really big pearl. It's called the mother pearl. <laughs> hey, will you help me look for it? <laughs> awesome, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no pearls here. <laughs> Hey, do you know what a pearl looks like? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a really tiny ball. <laughs> and that reminds me, do you know the story of the lost pearl? <laughs> yeah, it's a really fun story. <laughs> yeah, it's about a village where people used to dive for pearls. Yeah, they would dive to the ocean and find pearls in little oysters. <laughs> yeah, they would find the pearls and one day they found a really big pearl. Yeah, the mother pearl. And it brought them lots of good luck. But one day, a really big storm came. Whoa! <laughs> and they lost the pearl. And we want to find it. <laughs> oh, hey, storm. That storm was so big. It was kind of like a tornado. <laughs> good thing they have a tornado right here. Let's go ride it. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This place is so cool. <laughs> yeah, look. It's so rocky, and it looks like maybe there was a shipwreck here <laughs> with some treasure. <laughs> oh, and it looks like there's a water slide back there. Hey, I know. That water slide is called the Wama. Yeah, that's the Arabic word for tornado. Whoa! <laughs> hey, do you remember the story? Yeah, the story of the lost pearl. They lost the mother pearl because a big storm, a big tornado, blew it away. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe if we ride this ride, we can find the mother pearl. <laughs> okay, let's take a closer look. Check it out! This slide is huge! <laughs> oh, do you see? It's so big. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe if we ride this ride, the mother pearl will be down there. <laughs> Ooh. Do you notice? This slide is so colorful. <laughs> yeah. It's the colors blue and red. Woo! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. I'm gonna go ride it. <laughs> Whoa! We made it to the top of the llama. I can't wait to ride. Oh, look. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm Flippy. What's your name? My name is Irina. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you think I could go on the ride? Yes. They oh. exactly need one person to ride. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's join them. Okay, let's go. <laughs>
Ooh, it's a really big tank of water. <laughs> and look, there's a shipwreck and some crates. <laughs> Let's go take a closer look. Come on. <laughs> This tank of water is so big. There's all kinds of things in the water. Look. Hmm. Ooh. It looks like hmm, there's a bowl and <laughs> some really big bricks. <laughs> oh, look, there's coral. Ooh, <laughs> coral so beautiful. <laughs> hey, do you see that right there? Whoa, do you know what that is? That's an oyster. Yeah, an oyster is a sea creature. Whoa, and an oyster makes pearls, beautiful pearls, yeah. Sometimes a little thing that bothers an oyster like sand gets in its mouth. Hmm. <laughs> but after a long time, the oyster turns that little piece of sand or whatever it is <laughs> into a beautiful pearl. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? I bet this is where people dive for pearls. Oh, dive for oysters, <laughs> yeah, they find the oysters with the pearls inside. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> oh, look, it's a person! <laughs> Whoa, and look, he's diving. Yeah! Oh, I think he wants me to come with him. <laughs> okay, let's go! <laughs> oh, hi. hi! I'm Flippy, what's your name? My name's Silas. Oh, it's nice to meet you. And are you the diving instructor? Yes, please. <laughs> please diving. Where are you going to be diving? Find oysters. Oysters? <laughs> Is it okay if I come in the pool? Yes, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, check it out. It's a mask. Yes. Oh. So you have to check it, put, your, put it on, then check. <laughs> yeah, we want to put on the mask first before we start diving. Hmm. So, here we go. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> they don't fit over my glasses, I think so. You need to take off your glasses. <laughs> yeah, you got to take those off first. Whoa! <laughs> Look! All right, now Whoa. check it. Just put your head in water and check if Whoa. it's safe for you. Okay, yeah, we don't want to get any water in our mask. So, here we go. <laughs> yeah! The water getting inside. Yeah. All right, so now, before you dive in, you need to equalize. Whoa. So you need to pop your ears to be more safe. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's called equalizing your ears. <laughs> when you dive in the water, if it's really deep, it feels kind of uncomfortable on your ears, so... Pop your ears. <laughs> you can pop your ears out, yeah. Ah, feels nice and relaxing. <laughs> All right, are you ready? I think I'm ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Time to dive for some oysters. Yes, are you ready to dive for the oysters? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Ooh, let's see how many we can find. All right. Here we go. <laughs> let's go. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Whoa, 
check it out. We're here at the bandit's hideout. Woo! <laughs> this is where the bandits live. Ooh. Do you remember the story of the lost pearl? <laughs> yeah, there was a big tornado. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, and then they lost the mother pearl. You know what happened next? Yeah, bandits came and took the mother pearl. <laughs> that was not very nice. <laughs> hey, do you know what a bandit is? Yeah, a bandit is someone who takes things that don't belong to them. Whoa, and look. Whoa, there's a bandit. Whoa, whoa, run. Whoa, ah! keep your eyes open. You need to find the mother pearl. Hmm. Oh, hello. <laughs> hi, it's Donna. Oh, hi, Donna. I'm Blippi. <laughs> Ooh, do you remember the story of the lost pearl? Yeah, the pearl was lost because of a tornado. It was taken by bandits, but it was found. Yeah, found by Donna. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. Well, we've also been looking for the mother pearl today. You think you can help us find it? <gasps> you can? <laughs> Great. Well, do you know where it is? Oh, you do? Where is it? Oh, whoa, check it out! It's up there! It's been here this whole time! <laughs> oh, well, thank you for helping us find it, Donna. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, that was amazing! I had so much fun today at Yas Waterworld in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, we did some pretty cool things. We rode the tornado, we met a bandit, we went diving for pearls, and Donna helped us find the mother pearl! <laughs> Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>